remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? 18-year-old DeAndre Arnold has been a student at Barbers Hill ISD his entire academic life, and he started growing dreads when he was 10 years old. For some reason back in December, he was told to get rid of the dreads or spend the rest of the school year in in-school suspension, which means he would not be allowed to walk across the graduation stage with the rest of his schoolmates. If you support DeAndre, I want you to voice your opinion and give Barbers Hill a call at 281-576-2221. Do this on Tuesday, the day after Martin Luther King Day. Let them know that you're not having it, that you don't agree with their stance. What I wanna know is, why are we still having this conversation? I thought this was over in the 60s. Apparently, Barbers Hill did not get the memo. Some of these schools are way out of line. They have too much power. I'm all for a dress code within reason, but this is ridiculous. This lets you know that Barbers Hill is tone deaf in regards to black culture. They should not even be making rules for black folks. If you're gonna make these type of rules, you need to make sure you have input from black people, a balanced amount of black people on whatever board that's making these decisions. Because obviously you don't respect our culture. Now, what I wanna know is, if he cuts his hair, is it going to make him smarter? Will he become more obedient, more attentive? I got it. I got it. I figured it out. Perhaps if he cuts his hair, he'll gain some type of superpower, whereas the next time a student tries to come into a school and shoot it up, his sensors will go off and he'll be able to stop the shooting from taking place. Now, if he cuts the dreads and that happens, I can get behind you, Barbara's Hill. This is why diversity is so important in the workplace, politics, the judicial system, law enforcement, and schools. Because if Barbara's Hill would have had a more diverse staff with some black people in there making these decisions about the dress code, we wouldn't even be having this conversation because they would know that long hair is a manifestation of the growth of the spirit in the black community and also a symbol of strength. These schools, like I said before, have too much power. Where would these schools be? What would they be without the kids? The kids make the school, not the other way around. When you allow kids to be themselves, it alleviates peer pressure, awkwardness, and it fosters an environment where they may just be more willing to learn. You're supposed to teach kids to value their uniqueness and the uniqueness of others. That is what you're supposed to be teaching but you don't know any better. If girls can wear short haircuts, then why can't boys wear long haircuts? Oh, I get it. Because you say they can't. DeAndre, first of all, congratulations on all of your academic success. Congratulations on your upcoming graduation. I know this is a tough time for you and your family, but there is a silver lining. Come June, in regards to Barbers Hill, 
you will no longer have to deal with their bullshit. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?